of time to paint some more. As you see here, I went and painted these two little thruster things here. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Just faded them on up in there. Now, as you see, the base gray is different from this. This was, I forget, I think the pewter gray. As you can see, it's a little bit different color. So, what, this is when I, I went back to granite, the matte. I covered over the uh, dolphin gray because it was a uh, gloss. I didn't want my gloss. So instead of using this pewter gray like I was and fading it up to this, I'm just using this and then I'm going to use black. There's me as a baby my mama hold me. <laughs> mama Mia. So I'm uh, just using black, you know, and fading it from black to this, you know, the pewter gray here. So I'm going to go for it tonight. It's already 1210. I want to stay up too late. I'm going to be getting up early, like 8.15, so I don't want to stay up too late, but I want to make progress on this, so tonight, the goal of the now is just the wing there. So I spent one hour and this is what I accomplished. I was also, at first I was feeling like, damn, I didn't accomplish anything. But I, this doesn't actually look like this on this camera. Or maybe it looks different on the computer screen. Um, but I did accomplish something because I, I just started painting, I think like early last year, either late the year before or something. So I honestly hadn't been painting too, too long. So I'm still learning. Um, and I don't like the way this looks for this. And this is more on the right track here. Let me get the lighting a little bit. Let's see what it more so would look like. This is more so on the right track where it fades more naturally as opposed to that where it's just clear like. And I'm actually okay with those little thruster things on the bottom, but that wing is not okay. Um, the way I'm mixing the paint just kept layering on top and on top and on top of each other. It was kind of getting like gummy and it also wouldn't let me do straight lines because it was getting so gummy and thick that it, it wasn't letting the brush lay flat down on the canvas because it was gumming up in certain places you can see here if it'll focus let me do it for a second here how it's a little bit raised you can see how it was kind of gummy looking if y'all know what i mean it's acrylic and i just kept doing it on i guess it was drying a little bit and i was wetting it with new paint so i learned not to do that as well but um i know what i need to do basically kind of come back with this style here do the you know under base and then come back a little bit lighter shade touch it and I'm going to come back and I'm going to put like a highlight on top but um so again if you're painting if you're new to painting whatever or I guess if you're experienced trying to know this but it's like it feels like at first I was like wow I literally just spent a whole hour got no progress done on the actual painting but I did because I you know I made the mistakes and I learned now I know from this point going on and I know now with this painting you know what I'm saying going forward with this painting and any other painting now you know this technique really doesn't work and now I don't do this with the paint I need to mix it differently with the paint and you know what I'm, I'm actually it's a learning process just like anything else so um you know I have always heard like from very successful people basically if you're not making making mistakes you're not doing anything worth doing or like basically I don't know the exact quote I've heard I've heard different variations of the quote but basically it's good to be making mistakes because you know what I'm saying doing anything new naturally you're going to make mistakes at things just doing anything in life so you know and that that's progress you make the mistakes like i you know i just spent an hour there made no progress technically on the drawing but i did because now i learned hey these two things don't work i need to do it like this i don't need to do this i need to make sure i'm doing this this and this that's going to make me better moving forward if you know i apply that and keep that positive mindset and then you know instead of just getting pissed yeah, i can't do it and throw it to the side you know what I'm saying you keep the positive mindset mm, okay i just sat here an hour didn't see anything in that outcome i wanted how can i take that you know what can i learn from that well i learned i don't like the way this looks i need to blend it better like this i don't need to let the paint sit you know what i'm saying things like that so always keep a positive outlook and it's a journey just a, a micro journey inside the macro journey of life anyway Hopped in the shower. I'm really stoked. Like I'm just mm, so freaking stoked to keep painting on this thing now because I sat here an hour and now I know what I need to do to make it look right. Like I just want to freaking get it. But I need to go to bed. It's freaking 1:24. I'm getting up at like 8:15. So I'm about to hop in the shower, finish up eating, go to bed.
close, my people. Very close. All right, everybody, it is now 9.56. You see it's dark. It's a plane flying, probably multiple planes flying. But I'm out here at the Darlington NASCAR Speedway. Uh, I used to set up out front and tent, sell my hats and shirts and everything. Last year I just brought hats in, actually did better, so that's what I'm doing now. I got this this box, it's pretty big, I don't know if you can see the whole box. But pretty decent sized box, I got some hats and stuff in there. Um, anyway, I'm about to book it. I'm about to start walking toward the race. The race started at 6, but it's been delayed for a long time because of the rain. I'm sure you can hear them in the background. But uh, I'll show y'all a couple clips of stuff in there, some scenes, but I'm going to sell hats in there. You know what I'm saying? Sling some hats. You know, actually go out there, be able to socialize, have a great time. I'm not going to drink anything, but have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Mingle, uh, enjoy myself, have this cool experience of a NASCAR race for free. Get to get in for free. I just got to walk like uh, maybe two, two blocks, two, three blocks maybe. So and carry the, that uh, box. So nothing too, too crazy. Uh, be a nice little workout. Just get down to eating, which is it's actually very healthy for you to. Uh, Go on a walk, like a 20 minute walk after uh, you eat something for digestion. Anyway, I'll show I'll catch up with y'all when I get in there. Oh, yeah, here we go, baby. The more accurate representation of the box. Ethiopian style and then you know like a barbell curl. Anyway, about to go in under the tunnel here. <laughs> It's now 2.43, just came back to the camper to sit down for a minute. Everybody's pretty much either gone or like gone and I got another camper off walking around. The race is done. I think number 21, I'm not 100% sure. Just chilling right now, letting my feet rest. I've been literally walking up and down the, really just this aisle and that aisle and selling stuff here, all the people at the um, thing. Sold a decent amount of hats. Um, you know, no cost other than the cost of the material, which is sweet. I can just come out here for free. You know, get to socialize a little bit, see people, it's cool, and then meet new people, sell some hats, cool and sweet, easy way to move some product. But probably about, I'm about to walk back. So I gotta walk further back if I can't catch a ride on a, uh, I wanna try to catch a ride to the gate, and then I'll walk back like I did, like I came in, which isn't too, too far to walk. So I'm just giving my legs a break. As, I should ask that guy for a ride, but I'm just giving my legs a break as, I've been standing up basically the whole time, or just a long time, you know, selling and stuff. Anyway, it's a little bit going home. Got a decent amount to eat. I'm gonna eat extra now because I've been up walking so freaking much. And then I've kind of walked in here, been up walking, and I gotta walk all the way back. So I'm gonna replace those calories. Uh, nothing too crazy. I just wanna make sure I'm still in that slight surplus. And then lift in the next day or so. Yeah, get some good rest. I'm really sleepy. I guess I technically want to stay at this lake, but technically I did because I didn't take steps to not step. So anyway, see y'all in the next clip, next video, whatever it is. Laying down the base coat of gray. Basically the whole plane. Now I got to go back and change these colors to a little bit lighter. Or at least this here. This side can be a little bit darker since it's on this side of the plane. Alright, another session. I think I worked about an hour on it. I'm going to go back and do these ones. I don't like the way this shadow looks here. It's a little bit too thick. should have did it like this one. Where I painted the wing. Then came back. Put the shadow on it. Like these. I think that came out a lot better. And that way. Got the wing. And all these colors, you know, are subject to change. If I don't think it pieces together well. But color that I've got to touch that up a little bit. Color this dark piece, this dark piece. Dark around here that's still drying. 
and then got the back of the wing there. You know, I'm gonna try to fade it. You know, cause and we're even gonna come up with a highlight on the tips here, tip there, maybe up here. Oh, the side's a little bit lighter, but this side naturally will be darker because there's no light shining on it. And this side's gonna be a little bit darker, but the top slightly darker from that, which it should be. But I'm just gonna keep piecing it together and. What I've learned with the art, there's basically no failure. You just keep learning, and this piece right here is going to be completely black. A little piece hanging off the bottom. Come back, put a complete black over that shadow under there. One of those little thruster things. Something I've, I've learned about art, though, is even if like I've messed up multiple times on this, but it doesn't ultimately like it still ends up in success if you just keep going and keep using your imagination and keep you know trying to make it better in the end. You know it still works out even so kind of like a metaphor for life really anyway i'll probably start recording some soon um instead of just keep doing these little updates which i was thinking like i'll record more when i start drawing more which drawing wise i'll just be drawing like the windows a little light um and little lines on the wings and stuff but so really this ain't gonna be like a whole whole lot of detail too 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 much type stuff other than that kind of stuff but not as much as uh i guess i was like thinking it would be i gotta do some details on like the little thruster like these little jet engine things but i don't know i'm just it's just this is not like i was i guess imagined it was going to be painting and i was thinking like oh i'll show up more i'm doing a lot more of this kind of stuff but hell the what i just majority did just all this filling in big colors is majority of what it's going to be so i'll start uh recording some next time